Hi, guys. Welcome to Universe View Odyssey channel. Many Worlds Interpretation Hugh Everett, Wright, who invented the Many Worlds Interpretation, and his son Mark Everett, who was the lead singer of cult US band The Eels, appeared in the BBC documentary, Parallel Worlds, Parallel Lives, 2007, which shed light on Everett's theory and life. The Many World Interpretation is one of the interpretations of quantum mechanics that is attracting attention as an alternative to the Copenhagen Interpretation by completely solving the problem of wave function collapse that is necessarily accompanied by measurement. The Many Worlds Interpretation, MWI, has its origin in Everett, who was a graduate student at Princeton University in the United States, in his doctoral dissertation, The Relative State Formulation of Quantum Mechanics, 1957. When Everett first started, the title of his dissertation was, The Theory of the Universal Wave Function, but his supervisor John Wheeler recommended that he change it to the previous title. Initially, Everett called his approach, correlation interpretation. Here, correlation refers to quantum entanglement. According to Everett, the universal wave function is the wave function or quantum state of the whole of being considered as a fundamental physical entity or a fundamental entity that always obeys the deterministic wave equation. It goes without saying that the core concept of many worlds interpretation was derived from the universal wave function. The many worlds interpretation asserts that the universal wave function is objectively real and that there is no collapse of the wave function. According to this interpretation, all possible outcomes of quantum measurements are physically realized in some world or universe. The Schrodinger's cat thought experiment also inspired Everett's many worlds idea. Schrodinger argues that from the hypothesis that quantum states can exist in multiples by the principle of superposition, cats in the macroscopic world must also exist in multiples in reality. While pointing out the contradiction of the Copenhagen interpretation, it enabled the birth of a new perspective that observers also exist in multiples. Schrodinger's cat goes further and leads to the conclusion that multiple observers exist, meaning that there are multiple worlds in which observers exist, and eventually multiple worlds exist. Everett took note of this point and said that all possible events would realize in the separated world. The many worlds interpretation has been called the Everett interpretation, after Hugh Everett, or the relative state formulation, after a key concept in his dissertation. In the 1970s, American theoretical physicist Bryce DeWitt named it the Many Worlds Interpretation and became famous. Everett's Many Worlds proposal is not without precedent. In 1952, while giving a lecture in Dublin, Owen Schrödinger said, it may sound lunatic. The Schrödinger equation seemed to be describing several different histories, they were not alternatives but all really happened simultaneously. According to David Deutsch, this is the first known reference to many worlds. Philosopher of science Jeffrey A. Barrett describes it as indicating the similarity of general views between Everett and Schrödinger. How does the many worlds interpretation interpret the problem of wave function collapse? The many worlds interpretation explains the wave function collapse as a mechanism of quantum decoherence and quantum entanglement. Decoherence refers to a process in which a state of coherence, which can cause interference, is broken by interaction with the outside, such as observation, and loses quantum properties. According to the many worlds interpretation, wave function collapse does not occur, but all possible outcomes of events proceed to their respective history or world through quantum decoherence. Let's interpret Schrodinger's cat by applying Everett's original idea. According to Everett's concept of relative state, correlation, an entangled system is formed after general interaction, and this system is represented by two or more subsystems, relative state. Here, the system includes an observation object, an observation device, and an observer. In the Copenhagen interpretation, the unbroken poison bottle, a live cat, state and the broken poison bottle, dead cat, state in the box are superposed. And one of them disappears due to wave function collapse by the observer, and the other survives in the observer's world. 
On the other hand, according to the many worlds interpretation, the states of unbroken poison bottle alive cat and broken poison bottle dead cat in the box originally exist separately. Outside the box, there exists a world of observers observing the state of alive cats and observers observing dead cats. Through the interaction of observation, the observer and the state in the box form an entangled system. One relative state system is unbroken poison vial, alive cat, observer looking at alive cat, and the other is broken poison vial, dead cat, observer seeing dead cat. These relative states are separated due to observation, so they cannot interfere with each other, cannot communicate, and proceed to their respective worlds. The key points of the many worlds interpretation is as follows. Every event that happens is divided into different worlds that cannot be correlated with each other, and the observer also observes in each set of worlds. It is not that the world is divided by observation, the world has been divided from the beginning. All possibilities exist together. Observation objects and observers currently existing in this world are also part of the possibility. The quantum mechanical, Schrodinger's cat, paradox according to the many worlds interpretation. In this interpretation, every quantum event is a branch point. The cat is both alive and dead, even before the box is opened, but the alive and dead cats are in different branches of the multiverse, both of which are equally real, but which do not interact with each other. The many worlds interpretation does not require a cat in a half alive half dead state or the strange concept of wave function collapse, and can explain the Schrodinger cat without logical contradiction. However, it does not confirm the question, does the world where cat is alive and the world where cat is dead really exist in parallel? The many worlds interpretation was ignored at the time of publication, but after Everett's death, 1982, it became a source of inspiration for many physicists and cosmologists. The multiverse theory, which is being seriously discussed in the physics world these days, owes much to Everett's many worlds interpretation. The principle of quantum entanglement and decoherence explains the multiverse concept of the many worlds interpretation. The observer, the observation equipment, and everything else are separated in two by the time of observation. What was one prior to the observation is separated into two observation equipments and two observers, and two sets of everything else at the same time as the observation. This means that two entities coexist, and it means that two universes coexist. But for each world existing observer, only one result emerges, so his perception is preserved. Max Tegmark, professor of physics at MIT, said in his recently published, Our Mathematical Universe, the parallel universe is mathematically derived from the inflation theory that solves the difficulty of the Big Bang. Many physicists are beginning to accept it. However, although the many worlds interpretation theoretically explains the difficulty of the Copenhagen interpretation, it cannot confirm the existence of a parallel universe, and inevitably creates innumerable universes, and countless me, that are too far apart from common sense. This process violates the law of conservation of physical quantities. The many worlds interpretation, while not logically contradictory, does not satisfy two of the frequently cited, but not required, requirements of a general scientific theory. One is that it cannot be disproved. Philosopher of science Karl Popper argued that a theory that cannot be falsified is not science, and the many worlds interpretation falls under this category. Physically, we cannot communicate with other universes within our universe. Therefore, in the multi-world interpretation, there is no way to confirm the me of another universe other than the one me belong to now. How can I prove that there are many universes and that there is another me other than me in each universe? The second is that it violates the principle of Occam's razor, which states that plurality is not to be posited without necessity. Occam said, it is a waste to use much of what is sufficient for a little. Wouldn't it be absurdly unnecessary waste to invent an infinite universe if the hypothesis of collapse of infinite waves is unreasonable? Thanks for watching. You can read this story in Injury Time, injurytime.kr.